Dervinita R. 529-579 CE is seen as the most successful ruler of the Western Ganga dynasty. Son of the previous ruler, Avanita, Dervinita's accession to the throne was disputed by his brother, who had gained the support of the Pallavas and Kadambas. There are Nalala and Kadagator inscriptions that refer to this dispute. However, Dervinita managed to grab the throne by virtue of his valor. Hostilities with Pallavas and Kadambas During Dervinita's rule, the hostilities between the Pallavas and Gangas came to forefront and several pitched battles were fought by the two kingdoms. Dervinita defeated the Pallavas in the Battle of Andheri. Though the Pallavas sought the assistance of the Kadambas to the north to tame Dervinita, the Gumaretapura inscription hails that Dervinita overcame his enemies at Alator, Porular and Purnagra. It is possible that these victories enabled him to extend his power over Kongudesa and Tondimandalam regions of Tamil country. He may have also made Kittor his capital. <laughs> Ties with Shalukas Dervinita was a clever king. In order to keep the Pallavas at bay, he gave his daughter to Shalukya Vijayaditya or from the Nagara record to Palakeshi II, though the latter is unlikely owing to the difference in their eras. The Shalukas were an emerging power at this time. When the Pallavas attacked the Shalukas, he fought on the Shalukya side and cemented a long-lasting friendship with the Shalukas that lasted through the rule of both the Badami Shalukas, Rashtrakutas and Kalyani Shalukas, covering a period of over 600 years. The Gumaretapura and the Utanur plates describe Dervinita as the Lord of Punada. Topic: <laughs> Religion and Literature. The early Gangas were worshippers of the Hindu god Vishnu. However Dervinita had a Jaina guru called Pujyapada and his court was adorned with several Jain scholars. This tolerance was common among later Ganga kings, who actually took to Jainism in the later centuries. Dervinita was an able warrior as well as a man of letter and the fine arts. Kavirajamarga, the 850 CE Kannada classic hails him as one of the early writers in Kannada language prose, though his Kannada writings are not available. The renowned Sanskrit poet Bharavi is known to have visited the Western Ganga court during this period. Dervinita wrote a commentary on the 15th canto chapter of Bharavi's Kiritarjuniya. He translated into Sanskrit Vatikatha or Brihatkatha written originally by Ganadiya in the Prakrit language. He also authored a writing called Sabdavatara. His prowess in the battlefield, knowledge of war instruments and arms, political science, medicine, music and dance has been eulogized in the Nalala Grant inscription. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy Dervinita is mentioned as a notable Kannada prose writer in one of the works of Amogavarsha. <laughs> Notes <laughs>